I'll start by sharing my screen with you. And <clears throat> we're going to look at the topic of um, signaling and overtaking um, on this hand, uh, on, on the hands this evening. And I wanted to look at this hand, which was played in a tournament some time ago. And it was an example of, uh, and we're going to look at how this could be played in different ways. You can see most people played this in a four heart contract. And you can see that most people made 10 or 11 tricks, getting 650 uh, there or 170 for two hearts plus two. Um, one or two people were held to nine tricks, um, three hearts making and four hearts down one. But according to this grid here, it actually says that East West could be held to making three hearts, only nine tricks with best possible play and best possible defense. So we're going to have a look at this and see how it might be played. And you can see that nearly everyone here led the King of Diamonds. So let's have a look at the hand and how it might be bid and how it might be played. And I'll just bring up the four hands uh, while we look at the bidding here. West here, suppose they open <coughs> one heart. North has a sound uh, two diamonds over call. And East, I think, should probably bid four hearts there. Even though they've only got eight points in high cards, they've got a very good heart fit. Um, and if you look at the losing trick count on this hand, they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven losers. So that would suggest jumping direct to four hearts, the uh, preemptive game raise. So we're going to look at this hand from South's point of view. And let's imagine your partner leads the king of diamonds on this hand. And you see Dummy and you can see, well, uh, Dummy's got good trumps there. They've got quite a good spade suit. Um, and you can see that South is expecting to make the ace of spades, but they're, they're not expecting to make very many diamond tricks. In fact, because of that singleton uh, in Dummy, you can see that the defense can only expect to make one trick in diamonds. Your partner's got some sequence like King, Queen, Jack. And you on this hand have a choice as to <coughs> whether to let your partner win this one with the King of Diamonds or whether you should overtake it, play your ace. Um, and the reason you might overtake it is you might think about leading another suit. And you can see you're not going to win very many spades, probably one. You're only going to win one diamond. You're probably not going to win any hearts unless your partner has a, a high trump there. The only suit that you can win tricks in probably is in clubs. And with your holding in clubs as it is, and the weak club suit in dummy, it will probably be much better if you lead clubs. So the best play here is for you to overtake with the ace so that you can lead clubs and you're hoping for some kind of layout where it will help you to lead clubs rather than have your partner lead clubs so if i bring up the four hands you can see that on a layout like this if you lead a club here declare actually has the ace so they can play the ace your partner here should play the seven as high as they can to encourage um, and <coughs> Declara gets in and will probably draw trumps now. So he draws trumps in two rounds. Uh, but then when it comes to play the spades, you can get in with your ace and you can now switch back to clubs. You can leave the 10 here and that traps Declara's queen. So you can take the 10 and play another club and play that way north, south, you can make four tricks there. After that, Declare is going to get in um, and is just going to get the rest of the tricks. But we'll be held to nine tricks on this hand if you're able to make your um, one diamond trick and two club tricks as well as the ace of spades. So this was a hand where it made sense for you to overtake so that you can then lead a club and i hope you can see 
um, that it's much better for you to uh, lead clubs than for your partner. If you made the mistake of, for example, letting your partner win the king of diamonds, okay, your partner cannot attack clubs in the same way without helping declare or make tricks in clubs. So what, whatever they play now, if they, for example, if you let them win that and they switch to a spade, you can see there's probably no use, by the way, in them continuing diamonds because they'll get rocked. So <clears throat> although you can get in now with your ace, if you switch back to the club now, it's too late because declarer now can play their ace, draw trumps, and the spades are now set up. So they can now play three rounds of spades and discard club losers there. And played that way, declarer will be able to make, uh, I think, 11 tricks on this one. So this was an example of a hand where you need to think about whether you want your partner to retain the lead or whether it would be better for you to overtake and so that you can lead into dummy's weakness. Anyone have any comments or questions on that? Let's um, have a look at another one here. And um, this time uh, the opponents are in a three heart contract. So West opened one no trump, a weak no trump, East transferred by two diamonds to two hearts, and then invited game. <clears throat> so that's showing this kind of hand, something like 11 points. And you have to decide um, what you want to uh, play on this hand. And, uh, and, and where your tricks are going to come from. So again, on this hand, you can you can see that your partner is presumably led from a sequence headed by the king queen but that you've only got one club coming your way because of that singleton in dummy so you have a choice here of overtaking so that you can lead a suit or letting your partner retain the lead so that um they can uh play they can, they can lead a trick too now what do you want to happen here well, what you really want, so there's no real point in you overtaking here, because if you take your ace of clubs and then play another suit, you'll probably just be helping Declarer because you'll be leading into the king of spades or the king of diamonds in dummy. What you want to happen here is you want your partner to retain the lead and you want them, because of your spade holding, to switch to a spade. So. Because you've got the ace queen and you can see the king in dummy, <coughs> you want them to win this king of clubs and switch to a spade. So what you do on this hand is you don't play your ace. You let them win the king. And then the club that you play here is not going to be the normal signal of I like this suit or I don't like this suit. Your partner can see there's no point continuing with a second round of clubs. Um, and what you will do is play a high club if you're interested in the other higher ranking suit or a low club if you're interested in the lower ranking suit. So the way it works is we eliminate the heart suit. We're not signaling for that. That's a trump suit. And instead, we're signaling between spades and diamonds. And here, because I would like my partner to retain the lead and switch to a spade, I'm going to play the nine of clubs. And that tells my partner that you have some possible interest in the higher ranking suit. Now, at this point, when your partner leads the king and it wins the trick, he must realize that you had the ace and didn't play it. Because obviously, if Declarer had the ace of clubs, they obviously would have won that trick. <clears throat> and then they'd be able to rough any other losers. So your partner has to realize that you're not encouraging clubs, but that you're indicating some strength in spades. And if I bring up the four hands, what you're hoping for is some kind of layout like this, where your partner will retain the lead and will now switch to a spade. They've got here the jack of spades. So 
they can uh, win the first trick, lead the suit again, and you're trapping declarers uh, king. And played that way, you can win the first four spade tricks. After that, whatever you play back, declarer is going to rough, will draw trumps, and will claim the rest, but will be held to nine tricks on this hand. Do interrupt me if you have any questions on that. If I change the south hand slightly so that I put my strength in diamonds instead of spades, I'm going to signal now with when they lead the king of clubs, I'm going to signal with a low club, which should be in, indicating if I have any interest, it's an interest in the lowest lower ranking suit. So I'm going to play the three of clubs and hope my partner gets a message and we'll now switch to a diamond. The jack of diamonds here works out very well as it traps the king. And again, the defense is able to make uh, four tricks. Declare will claim the rest. Um, if your partner doesn't notice your signals or you're not really paying attention. So if you signal here with the three of clubs, if they carry on, um, it, well, I mean, if they carry on with clubs, it's really not much use. And if they switch to a spade, that's not much use. That's just helping declare. Declare will be able to win that one. Now we'll just draw trumps. And um, we'll be able to uh, set up the, uh, the spade tricks. OK, so <clears throat> on the spades, they can now discard uh, two diamond tricks and they will now just lose one diamond and make 11 tricks rather than nine tricks. So th these kinds of situations, normally when your partner leads a suit, your first priority is to signal high to encourage or low to discourage. But in a situation like this, it should be obvious to you and your partner that there's no point giving that signal. And instead, the signal is used as a suit preference signal, letting your partner retain the lead in this case and getting them to lead something where you have some strength. So I hope uh, that's clear. Let me know if you have any questions on that. And let's try another one here. This time, South has opened one spade. Your partner overcalls two hearts and North jumps to four spades. And your partner leads the queen of hearts. And down comes dummy. Declare a call for a low heart from dummy. And you've got a question about what you should play. Are you going to play the ace, the eight, or the six? So I'm going to launch a poll in a moment. And the question is, are you going to uh, play the ace, the eight, or the six of hearts? Let me end the poll, and I will share the results with you. And 64% went for the ace with the remainder going for the eight or the five. So let's um, switch back to it. And um, let's think about what we what we know. Well, we can see that dummy started off with just two hearts. And we can see that your partner led the queen. So that should mean that they have a sequence headed by the queen. It also tells you that declarer South has got the king. So you can see that as defenders, you are only ever going to make one heart trick because declarer's got the king and there was a doubleton in dummy. So there's only one trick available to you. So yes, I agree with the majority of you. The right thing to do for you to play here is to play the ace of hearts and that will win the trick, of course. And now we need to decide what are we going to play back? Well, there's no point playing hearts back because declarer has got the king. Maybe we'll make a, a spade trick if my partner has a, a high trump. We're obviously not going to make any diamonds. The only other suit where we can make tricks is in clubs. And the way the best way to play this is to take that ace of hearts and then lead back a club. Now, normally when you're leading a club from something like jack eight, five, three, you would normally lead your fourth highest.
But those rules about what to lead should not be followed when you're in a situation like this, because what I want what I want to happen here is to lead a club and to give myself the best chance of trapping any honours that are in the South End. It's best for me to lead a highish club, higher than the highest club in Dummy. So the best card for you to play here is actually the Jack of Clubs. If I bring up the four hands for a moment, you'll see that this is the kind of layout we're hoping for. And yes, we were lucky that my partner's got a good holding in clubs, but if he doesn't and declare has got, you know, good heart, good clubs, then we, you know, we're probably not going to make any tricks anyway. But the only suit where we could make a trick in is in clubs. And if I click on the GIB button, it's telling you that the only card that will defeat the contract is the Jack of Clubs. If you lead a low club and declare a place low, then your partner can win that one with the 10, yes. But then if they want to continue with that suit, they will have to lead toward into declare as king and they will make a trick. But a good tip here is to lead higher than the highest card in dummy and lead that jack so that if declare plays low here, you can retain the lead and trap the uh, king of clubs and there, therefore you can make the first uh, four tricks again. <clears throat> After that, whatever happens, declare will win the king of hearts. We knew they had that there and they might just draw trumps and uh, will take their diamond tricks, will make the rest of the tricks, but you will hold declarer to nine tricks on that one. Okay, any comments on that one? So two things to get right on that one. One is to overtake your partner's queen with your ace and then not continue hearts, but to switch to dummy's weakness. Leading into dummy's weakness is one of the best things you can do when you're in a position like this. Okay, let's try another one. Um, here, South has opened one no trump, a weak no trump. They bid two clubs, stamen, two diamonds, three no trump. And your partner here leads the queen of clubs. And that, again, looks like top of a sequence. And they're on to a good thing um, because you've got the ace and king. But, of course, you have to realize that they may well have a long club suit. They may well have four or five clubs. And uh, to avoid blocking the suit, you must overtake here. You must play... Let's just bring up the uh, the four hands here. You must play the ace and or the king, and then leave the suit leave the suit back uh, with with the six at the end. And if you don't do that, your partner will win the queen, return the suit to you, and you'll win three tricks, and then you'll be stuck. As it is, you can do one better if you overtake, play the ace, and then play the suit back, and your partner will be able to make the fourth club trick. After this, Declara will just claim the rest because he's got three top tricks in each suit, but you'll hold Declara to just nine tricks on this one. Um, if you look at this hand, if you don't take the first four club tricks, Declara can actually make one extra trick because as it turns out, the spades divide three, three. So he can make four spades <coughs> as well as three hearts and three diamonds. So just remember that kind of situation, overtake there, because it's very likely your partner's got more clubs than you have. Any comments or questions? Let's um, have a look at this one. And we're going to actually look at this from the point of view of um, East here. OK. And... The bidding has gone like this. South opened a week two spades. Your partner doubled and North bid three spades. Now, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points here. You do have four hearts. And let's suppose you bid four hearts, um, but North then bids four spades. And suppose it, it ends there. You you're not quite sure whether they're going to make four spades here or whether you're um but you're, you're not really strong here you're not going to double you're not going to bid five hearts so they end up in four spades and your partner leads the ace of clubs there and 
down comes dummy and we can see a pretty good dummy there and my partner presumably has got the ace and the king of clubs it's normally a mistake to lead the ace unless you also have the king um there's not much point us giving any encouraging signal here because although we've got the queen there are only two clubs in dummy so i don't know if it's um we really want to encourage that suit but your partner wins the ace of clubs and then plays the jack of spades and that's interesting he presumably had the king and didn't play it and i think what's going on here is that your partner has realized that declara may well have some club losers in their hand that they want to rough in dummy so he switched to a trump he switched to the jack of spades and my question for you the next poll question is how many spades do you think your partner started off with? Have a little think about it. Look at the bidding and what it shows. And I'm going to launch a poll in a moment. And the question is, how many spades do you think your partner started off with? And 82% have said one, with a smaller number saying can't tell, or two or three. So let's um, have a look at this. Well, you, you may think this is an odd question, but very often in, you know, when you're defending or declaring, it's very good to try and think about the missing distribution of any, uh, the distribution of any uh, suits. Um, here, South opened with two spades, so presumably they have a six-card suit. There were three in dummy, that's nine, and you've got three, 10, 11, 12. So it's quite likely that the jack of spades is a singleton, that your partner started with just one spade, and it's a jack. And what he's doing, instead of carrying on with clubs, he's trying to draw um, the trumps to prevent declare a roughing clubs in dummy you can see there's a shortage of clubs in dummy and um declarer may well have some length in clubs that he wants to rough and your partner is doing his best by playing a spade to draw the opponent draw declarer's trumps so declarer wins this one and let's suppose he plays a club and your partner plays the 10 um and again you have a choice of letting your partner win this one with a 10. But the other thing you can do is to overtake it. Why are you going to overtake it? Because you're the only one with any trumps left. Yeah. So what you're going to do is play the queen so that you can draw another round of trumps and uh, get rid of a, a roughing potential in dummy. If I bring up the four hands at this point, you can see that declarer now has uh got left in their hands they've got well they've got good spades they're not going to lose any spades they're going to lose one heart no diamonds and they've got two potential club losers but they can rough one of those in dummy so that's what they will probably do lead another club rough with the queen <coughs> but they'll be left with a, a club at the end that they can't uh, can't rough. So whatever happens now, let's suppose they play a heart, your partner wins that one. And if they play a uh, a club here, because now it's safe to lead a club, because there are no trumps in dummy, and so declarer will have to follow and lose a club trick. After that, um, declarer will get in with a rough, will draw the last trump, and be able to make the last two diamonds but we'll be held to nine tricks there if you cooperate with your partner by um, gaining the lead so that you can continue with uh, with spades it turns out on this hand if i go all the way back to the beginning and click on the gib link that declarer can always be defeated and the best lead is actually the jack of spades which could lead to defeat by two tricks because it 
cuts down on the ability of declarer to rough those losing clubs in dummy. Um, but <clears throat> the best thing for you to do is to carry on in leading trumps to prevent those roughs. Okay. And um, one last one to look at. Um, let's have a look at this one where you open two spades. Your partner, sorry, uh, south bids three hearts. Your partner passes and north bids four hearts. And your partner here leads the seven of spades. And down comes dummy. And again, I'd like you to think about what your partner's distribution is. And in particular, I'm going to ask you a similar question to last time, which is how many spades do you think your partner started off with? So you need to think about how many spades you can account for. What are the missing spades? And see if you can answer the question, how many spades did your partner start off with? Okay, let's end that final poll. And let's look at the results. And most of you, 55% have said one. Uh, with 18% saying can't tell and 21% saying uh, two, uh, two people saying three. So let's, um, sorry, let's shift back to the um, the hand. Well, let's think about it. We've got a six card spade suit and there are four in dummy. So that's 10. So there are three spades um, in the other hands. And apart from the seven, you can see that the other two spades are the ace and the king. Now, if your partner had started off with the ace or the king as well as a seven, they should have led high, high from a doubleton. Or if they'd started with ace, king, seven, they would have led the ace. So the only holding they have where they would have led the seven is if it is a singleton. So if they are playing correctly, that seven is a singleton. So maybe we can use that to our advantage let's see um we declare a plays low from dummy there's no point playing any high card because you know declare has got the ace and the king and is going to have to play one of those so play whatever you like declare a wins that one with the king and let's suppose they start on diamonds they start with the ace of diamonds and they play another diamond it looks like they want have diamonds they want to rough within dummy your partner plays the jack and again, you could let them win this one with a jack, but you have something much better to do here, don't you? Because you can overtake this with the queen and give your partner a rough. OK, you know they've got um, uh, a void now and they'll be able to rough that with the six of hearts. Um, after that, let's see what happens. Let's suppose they play the, the a club and declare a now. Um, plays the king of hearts and plays a diamond. So yes, they, it looks like they had, <coughs> they have diamonds that they wanted to rough. So they rough that diamond and they go back to trumps. Okay, that's all the trumps gone. And they're sort of playing out their hearts to give you some difficulties. Um, but at the end, your partner gets in with the king of clubs and can take the queen of clubs as well. And played that way, you can hold Declarer to nine tricks. If we have a look at this from Declarer's point of view, we can see what's going on here is that Declarer is expecting not to lose any spades, expecting not to lose any hearts, but they have two club losers and they have two diamond losers unless they can rough one in dummy or get rid of it somewhere else. So. That's why they didn't draw trumps on this hand right away. They they tried playing diamonds, hoping to rough a, a diamond. But if you're able to get in, uh, you can then give your partner a, a spade rough once you've worked out that that seven has to be a singleton. OK, any comments or questions on that? So that's what we're lo looking at this evening. Different situations where it pays to um, overtake your partner's um, trick when you have a good reason to do that 
um, or otherwise in some situations give a signal as to which suit you would like your partner to lead. But we'll stop um, the talk there.